Hello everyone, today I'm going to present you a new version of the Landscape Combinator plugin which lets you import landscapes, buildings, forests, satellite images all in one go. Once you install the Landscape Combinator plugin, you get a few C++ classes in the content browser. To be able to see them, make sure that in the settings of the content browser you have show plugin content, show engine content, show C++ classes all enabled. The first actor that we're going to look at is the landscape spawner, which lets you create a landscape from elevation data. So drag one into your level, and we start by creating a landscape that covers the whole world. It's not going to be very detailed, but it's going to give us a plane of reference to place the other landscapes. The background landscape is optional. You don't need to have it if you don't want to. First, I select MapTiler as a provider for satellite images. You can create an account for free on MapTiler, which gives you a number of free requests per month. Then you need to specify the sort order for the satellite image. This number controls the order uh, on which uh, the different satellite images are going to appear, as I'll show you later. And I want the satellite image for the background landscape to appear last, so I put in minus 100. Then we have to choose a zoom level for the satellite images. For this, I'm going to give you a link in the description that will help you choose an appropriate zoom level depending on the size of your landscapes. So here, since this background landscape covers the entire world, I'm going to put a low zoom level, 4. But then for landscapes that cover a village or so, we'll go higher in the zoom levels. Finally, I have to specify the source from which we're going to download elevation data to build the landscape. Again, here I'm, I'm going to use MapTiler. Make sure you choose MapTiler height maps. And then I'm going to specify the tiles that I want. So at zoom level four, as you can see in the map linked in the description, the tile numbers go from zero to 15. Then we are good to go and we can spawn the landscape. If you don't want to have these uh, messages, you can turn on silent mode. This will disable these messages uh, when spawning the landscape. After a few minutes, we have our background landscape and we add a directional light so that we can see it properly. If your camera is not moving uh, fast enough, just increase the camera speed. Now that we have our nice background landscape, we're going to look into creating a landscape for a village with buildings and forests. You specify how you want to import a village by creating a combination. A combination is a way to, to regroup several of the features of the Landscape Combinator plugin. So in it, you will have landscape spawners to create landscapes. You will have spline importers, where you can import splines for roads, buildings, uh, forests, and so on. You can have your own PCG graphs that you run on the landscapes. And you can also generate buildings from the splines that you imported in step two. For our Italian village, we are going to start with a landscape spawner, again using map tiler, but this time since we are going to use a, a much smaller area, we can increase the zoom level. I'm going to use zoom level 17 for the satellite images and the sort order I'm going to put minus one, so that it's going to be on top of the background landscape, which was minus 100. I'm going to enable silent mode so that I don't get messages while I'm uh, generating the, the landscapes and buildings and so on. And this time I'm not going to specify the tile numbers manually. And I'm going to specify the coordinates which are going to be at the center of this landscape. I'm going to specify that I want an area which covers around uh, 1000 meters for the width and the height. And for the zoom level, I'm going to use 14, which I think is the highest zoom level that you can use for elevation data on MapTiler. Now I'm enabling 
a feature for blending landscapes together because the, these new landscapes are, that we're importing for the village might overlap with the background landscape and other landscapes that we're going to be importing. We don't want the background landscape to be hiding the landscape for the village, which is going to have much more detail. So now we have our first landscape spawner for the village and I'm going to duplicate this landscape spawner so that we can also create a landscape for a large area around our village. And then notice that the, the landscape spawners all have the same tag, which is the name of the village. For the second landscape spawner, I'm going to use an area which is around 8,000 meters wide. And I'm going to decrease the zoom level because if you use uh, a high zoom level for a very large area, then you will have too many tiles and it might crash Unreal Engine. I will also be spawning around the village a third landscape, which is this time around 64,000 meters wide. And again, this landscape will have even less details, so an, a lower zoom level than the second landscape because it's much, much larger. Then we need to configure what we need for the buildings. So you, you create a spline importer and then you choose OpenStreetMap Buildings. I want to import buildings only for the first landscape. So then I copy paste the landscape tag for the, from the first landscape spawner. Then for the splines tag, I enter a new tag, which can be arbitrary, just to make sure that it matches what you put in building generation. This way, the, building ge the buildings generation tool can look up the splines which are imported in step two. The buildings generation tool has uh, many options that you can explore. I won't cover them all here. For now, I'm just going to create basic buildings with windows, which don't have any interior. In addition to the buildings, I want to be able to spawn trees in the areas where, in the areas which are labeled as forests on OpenStreetMap. So I choose an area importer and I choose OpenStreetMap forests. And again, for efficiency, I'm going to import uh, forests only for the smallest landscape. Here also, I'm creating a tag for the area. And then I will be using that tag in my custom PCG graph, which is going to spawn trees only in the forest area in imported in step two. For the trees, I'm using some, some free mega scan tree that you can get on the marketplace. Now let's press the Generate Actors button and wait around two minutes. And we get our buildings, we get our landscapes, we get our forests. And here we have a small issue is that we, we use the same sort order for all satellite images. So the first one has a sort order of minus one. And for the second one, I'm going to put minus two so that it's behind. And for the third one, which is the largest landscape, I'm going to use minus three so that it's still behind. And now it's much better. I should have put the sort order directly here in the landscape spawners. I'm going to change it now so that when I import the next village, I won't have the same issue. And here we have all three landscapes, small one, a medium one, and then a large one. This is a small one and we can see the buildings which were generated for the village and we can see the forests
If you're using Megascan trees, uh, you can import a global foliage blueprint, which lets you play with the color variation and so on. So let me show you what was imported. Let me hide all satellite images and let me hide the landscapes and the forests and the buildings. So we have the smallest landscape and here we also have the splines for the buildings which are all collected in the spline collection actor called sc underscore spline importer. Thanks to the blending landscape feature, you can see that the second landscape has a hole where the first landscape goes and it goes smoothly under it. This is thanks to the blend landscape component. If you want to adjust the shape of the hole and the way that the landscapes are blended so that they fit well together, you can disable blending in the landscape combinator window and then you can do the blending manually from the blend landscape component here by playing around with the curves and then pressing the blend with landscape button. And then the same way that the second landscape has a hole where the first landscape goes, the, the large landscape, the third landscape also has a hole where the second landscape goes. And finally, the third landscape, which is the one which is 64 kilometers wide, is blended into the background landscape. So now we have uh, the actors which were used to create the village, which are the landscape spawners, the spline importer, the buildings from spline actor, uh, the PCG volume, and the geometry for the forests. And inside the generated actor folders, we have all the landscape, the buildings, and so on. Now I want to duplicate this combination so that I can import a village somewhere else. So I don't have to rewrite the whole configuration. I just press create combination. And I, I obtain a new folder for the new combination with new landscape spawners, which have the same configuration as the previous one. You can change the configuration if you want. Now I'm just going to put in the coordinates for the new village. I'm going to let everything else the same. And the tags are also changed automatically. So so that the tags between the landscape spawners, the spline importer, the PCG graph, and the building's generation match correctly. And then I'm going again to press the Generate Actors button to generate the village. Again, this takes around two or three minutes, depending on the machine. And then we get this village from Switzerland. Also, what's important here is that the landscape has been placed and scaled correctly with respect to the other landscape. So here we're in Switzerland, and then if I'm zooming out, I can see the other landscape that we have imported in Italy.
All right, that's all for today. I hope you like the new tool. I'm open for feedback if you have suggestions to improve the interface. And I'm also eager to see the landscapes that you create if you want to share them on Discord or in YouTube comments. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.